But let me explain. Silence. To the order of sacrifice. Calling. I'm alone. Can I be of any assistance, Master Zulu? Apollon. Manius is being tortured to the order of sacrifice. Go. Rescue him. Yes, master. Come we'll go. What are those drums? They're the drums of death. The drums of death? What do you mean, Master? Someone's being tortured by the natives. Let's hurry and find out who it is. Right, you are. Come on. Why did you have your black sack on? You're lucky you're not in the same spot as the old scientist. What do you mean? What has happened to him? <laughs> He's the guest of honor, a little ceremonial offering. But don't let that bother you. Let's drink to his health. <laughs> Shave. I'll take a matcher. Come on. Bye, doctor. Take 
Take me away. Take me away. That's the man who ordered the natives to torture me. Is this true? What if it is? Butterfield, if you cause this man suffering, you're going to pay. <coughs> well, he tortured my natives, didn't he? My father was not to blame for that. He was under the power of Zolak. That's the truth, Butterfield. Ask them. They know. They were in the lost city. Oh. Come on, Doctor. Father. Butterfield, this man has got to have immediate attention. All right. Take him to my quarters. You're all right, Father. I tell you, Reynolds, Butterfield's a dangerous man. I know it. We must be careful what we say. All right. Listen here, Butterfield. Sit down. I want to have a little chat with you. So you were in the Lost City. What do you know about it? Nothing. Didn't you see him making their giants? No. We weren't there long enough. You're lucky. Show these men to the quarters next to mine. You'll be comfortable there. Thanks. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Are you sure you know nothing about the lost city? Absolutely. Of course you are right, my boy. Look, Bruce, it's just fit. <laughs> Africa isn't so far away after all. Where did you get that? Oh, in the other room in there. Well, it just fits. Yes. Are you sure, Doctor, that Reynolds and Colton forced you to leave the lost city? Yes, these men are not to be trusted. Yeah, let me tell you that Butterfield isn't our only enemy. Bruce, we must get away. Don't worry, Natchez. Come on, Jerry. What are you going to do? I'm going to talk to Reynolds and Colton. I'll be right back. We've got to get Manius away from here before Butterfield learns that he can restore the mental powers of those giants. Look, there goes Gordon toward the trading post. I wonder if man has told him how we forced him to leave the lost city. We'll have to convince Gordon that the old man's out of his mind. We'll have to work fast. I tell you, I heard the old man say he could not only restore the minds of these living dead men, but he could make giants with full mental power. With a regiment of men like that, Africa is mine. Well. How's the old doctor? He's getting a little better. That's fine. Can you tell me what hat I can find Professor Reynolds and Dr. Colton? Yeah. They're over there. Thanks. Come on, Jerry. Say, what's the idea of fooling those guys? Colton's in that hut over there. You're so dumb. I get you. Well, that's that. But how about Colton and Reynolds? I'll take care of them. I've got it. You fix it with the natives, and I'll get the girl out of the way. You know, Andrews, if I can get into the lost city and get Zolok out of the way... And then what? I'll bring the old man back with me, and I'll make all the giants I need. That's right. You could. Yeah. That's just what I'll do.
Well? Zolok ordered me to report to you. He said you would find use for this paralyzing gun. Be careful. It is very dangerous. Stand by. I'll go to the village and get Manius. I'm so sorry, Dad. But it, it, it's much better than, than being with Zolak, isn't it? Bruce wants to see you. But where is he? He's at the training post, pre preparing to leave. But, Father... Oh, uh, I'll stay here with him. Oh, I'm all right. You better go. Well, I won't be long. I got an idea. Roll over and I think I can make it. Come on. All right. Come here. This is far as I can roll. Oh, All right. Now. You know the trail, Fungo? Yep. Come on up. All right. Get going. Fungo! said he was waiting here to see me. Well, he's not here. Well, that's strange. I don't understand. Chet, those birds are up to something. Come on. Phew. And they call this Africa, huh? What a spot. Wait a minute, what's this one? You more? making any headway there, Jerry? No, just a minute. <laughs> that Butterfield's supposed to be a white man. White man? Our guy's just yellow. Gone native, I swore. Yeah. What happened? Colton. The natives took my news. Yeah. Get the natives. Time to pick up my trail, all right? Oh, well, I can get that other one. Jerry, I. Well, yeah, maybe I can help you. That's good. Oh, boy. Here, Fip. I get over there. Mr. Butterfield. Mr. Butterfield. You stay here. You hit Butterfield Trail. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Bruce. Reynolds is dead. What? Who killed him? Colton. Oh, and father's gone, too. Then Colton's got your father. Come on. No, you don't.
They lead this way. Come on. Where's your father? I don't know. You remember when you're in the Law City? Bruce, look out! It's a paralyzing gun! Uh. 